before we start this video, I want you guys to do one thing. We're not going to start this video before you guys do this. Smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. And let's get us to 100,000 subscribers. I know you guys can do it. Smash that like button. Right? Right? Now. Now we can start the video. Hi YouTube, it's Jamie and Yumari. And today we're going to be talking about how we met. That, that's like that's a popular question. You guys love to ask that question. You guys want to know. Yeah. And we want to tell you guys. Because we, no matter how many videos we do about it. We, yeah, like we don't make like a sit down video. But we talk about it in different videos and you guys still ask. So we are making a sit down video about how we met. <clears throat> yeah. So start off with first things first. Imari. How you run into me? <laughs> How did you see this gorgeousness and be like, she has to be mine? So, well, I I had downloaded an app called POF. One of my friends told me to download it. So then I downloaded it and pretty much that was it. Like you download the app and you see who you like and if they like you back and you guys meet up. <clears throat> so then I found your profile and I liked you, so I messaged you. Was I the only girl you messaged there or did you message more girls? I'm pretty sure that I've talked, I spoke to other girls there, but you're probably like the only one I met up with. Oh, so I, I kind of got lucky. It was kind of my lucky day, I guess. <laughs> um, how I how I ran into that app was like I used to. I was working, and one of my friends Scott, just like a Sagittarius like me, really into girls. Like I think I didn't just went through a breakup. I had broken up with a girl from a long, long time ago, and he had met her. And he was like, oh, Jamie, what's what's up with this girl? I was like, oh, no, we, like, we already broke up. He's like, yeah, I know. Like, what's up with a new girl? And I was like, no. To be honest, I don't want to date. I don't want to, like, go out and meet people right now. I just want to make money. Like, basically, like, that was my goal. And then he was like, oh. And one day we were, like, at work, and he was, like, going through the app. And I was like, he's like, look how many girls be trying to talk to me. And I'm like, oh, wow. He's like, I bet you can't get as many girls to try to talk to you on that app. And I was like. Maybe there's not as much lesbians as there are straight girls on that app, but... And he's like, come on, and he grabbed my phone and he downloaded the app. So he's like, oh, let's make your profile. So we were there making a profile, whatever. I made a profile, and I put like two, three pictures of me, or like four pictures. I put a couple of pictures of me. And he, I, a lot of girls were like writing to me, and in the app, I did put that I was bisexual. Um... That is, I was kind of like in a point in my life where I kind of want to give it, give guys a try. I was like, you know what, girls are not working out. Let me see if I can like, I'm getting old. At that time I was 25. I was like, let me give guys a try. Maybe I can fall in love, you know. Sometimes you don't fall in love with a gender. Sometimes you don't fall in love with what's down there, but what's up there. And let me see if I can strike up a conversation with a nice guy. And, you know, meet up with somebody. And guys... I'm so gay. It wasn't working out with guys. I can never get to meet up with any of them. Or one. And that was because it was like a business meeting. Me and him are really good friends. And like he met Imari and whatever. Anyways, Imari messaged me. And what did you tell me in that app? Sorry, I just talk a lot. You yeah. know that. I'm like, this video is about how we met. And you're talking about some shit that doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, so tell them about. Uh, okay. So, I messaged her on the app. I told her, I think I told her like she was pretty or something, I don't remember the exact words. And then she replied, I don't know what you said, but I know you like to talk or whatever and then she gave me her number and then I called her and I told her, hey, this is my number so you can say, because oh, you told me that you were going to delete the app, so she, like she told me she was going to delete the app, so she gave me her number so I can call her. And I called her, and I told her, oh, look, this is my number, I'm going to go take a nap now, so, just so you can have it, whatever. And I just hung up, and I wanted to take my nap. I think I told her, this is what I told her, guys, I told her, look, I have already found what I'm looking for, and that is you, so I am able to delete this now. You did not <laughs> I did not say that. But she I was said, like, you said, oh, I'm going to delete this app. Um, it was getting too overwhelming with the messages. But, here's my number if you want to call me or whatever. Yeah, it was like, it was a little too much and I was like focusing on work and I was like, okay, you know what, let me give her my number. In the app, guys, it, you have to be 18 and older, I guess, to download it or to have a profile mm -hmm. there. No? No, you don't. You don't. But 
she had put that she I, was yeah, 18. But I, I, I didn't know like how old she was. And the thing about her as well is that she was going to school, but she wasn't going to like the baby. There was one second guy, Sebastian is crying. He's gonna come. Okay guys, Sebastian just woke up. Uh, this is our beautiful baby boy. Anyways, um, mm -hmm. so she wasn't going to school as in a way that it will say like, oh, you know, she's in school all day. Like, she was 17. This is what happened. She was 17 and in the absence she was 18 and then she never, we never really talked about our age because I feel like age shouldn't be like, you know, such a factor. I feel like you should just talk to the person and you know, see how you, cause when you talk about age, it's like you put an expectation. Like you put like an expiration date and you, you expect this person to act a certain way that they probably wouldn't act. Like I, I hate to tell people my age because they'll be like, oh, but you don't look that way or you don't act that way. Like, no, I'm not gonna, uh, I feel like age is just a number and it's based on the numbers of experiences that you have had. Imari has experienced things that I have never experienced and I have experienced things that she has never experienced and Like we were in different stages of our life Anyways to make a long story short She was in high school, but I um, She was 17 years old. She was like almost done with 17 and She was in high school, but she wasn't taking you weren't taking like all day classes She was taking like kind of like only like one class Per day? Yeah, I was taking like one, one, I was taking, on one day I was taking two classes and on one day I was taking one. So when she would wake up to go to school or whatever, like, and then I would wake up on my day off, because I used to work in the morning, I would wake up on my day off, and by the time I, I'm waking up, she's already finished with school, mm -hmm. she's already finished with like half her day, so she, when I met up with her, she wasn't wearing school uniform, she wasn't in school, so... By the time I found out her age, it was already graduation time. <laughs> and she was already 18. Because before graduation, you made, she yeah. made 18 before she graduated. And, you know, whatever. I went to her graduation. I had, like, already met her dad. Oh, no, for your 18th birthday, I think I met, that's when I met your dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the time she was, like, already, like, um, 18, she was having a birthday. That was, like, it was on her birthday. And I was like, um, when I went there, that's when I, I found out, oh, she's 18, whatever. And then her dad was like, oh, come in, you know, mm -hmm, yeah. enjoy this party. Come take a picture together. Like, her dad always been, like, very supportive of us. He's always been, like, I don't know. He's 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 been really supportive, like, from the beginning. Because in the beginning, I was, like, a little shy. I was like, oh, my God. This is, like, kind of, like, a little different from me. I've never been around Cubans. I know I know Spanish. And her dad, your dad thought that I didn't speak Spanish. Yeah. So he was, like, trying to talk to me in English, and I was, like, I was just letting him, you know, just seeing how he interacted with me, and he was really, really nice. Um, like, he told me, you know, come, whatever, like, to the party, whatever, come take a picture, you know, be part. I I, I think, like, he, like, knew that we were together or something. Did he, do you think he knew that we were together? Or he just yeah. thought you were my good friend. No, I think he knew we were together because, like, I had already told him I was gay. Yeah, and so. It, he pretty much knew I was hanging out with you all the time, so I'm pretty sure he assumed. Okay. So, yeah, we were, like, together, whatever happened. And he, you know, he was really nice to me. So, that's, that's, so that's when, when I met him, I was 25 and she was 17. I was done with 17. But I was, I, I was already, I was done with 25, like. Cause we met in October, my birthday's in December. Yeah. So I was like 26 almost. And you know, she shared a birthday with me. I shared a birthday with her after. Uh, she, you have shared more birthdays with me than I have shared birthdays with you. And that's because I had like one extra one mm -hmm. when we met. Yeah. Anyways, guys. And whatever happened, you know, when we met up, we, I felt like we hit it off. Imani is very mature for her age. Like I can probably say she's almost more mature than me. Um, in some cases, like, I don't, I don't know if it's because you watch Criminal Minds or because what, I feel like she's like a profiler, like, she kind of like knows how to camouflage into the environment that she's in, like, 
it wasn't no bullshit with her it was like you know i have to work in the beginning she didn't understand that for me it was important to work because i had my own apartment i had my own car i had my own bank notes i was 20 i was making 26 i was living on my own you know this whole scenario of like the relationship that I'm going into and the relationship that she should have been into were very different. Well, I understood that you had to work, but the work that, the, like, the place you were at, it was, like, very, very long hours. And you used to work, like, all, like, almost every day. Yeah, I used to work six like, days a week. You only had, like, one or two days off, and then when you went to work, it was, like, from early, early morning to, like, late at night. So, yeah. it was horrible. Yeah, I had, like, horrible hours. It, I, because... The thing is, I had two jobs. Remember, I had two jobs. Mm. I had two jobs. One was in the morning, like, and I finished like around six p.m. or like five thirty, and then I will go to the next job, and then I will work like like super late at night. So it wasn't like we were spending that much time together at that time. Happy birthday! And you know, whatever time we got to spend together, it was like really good time. So <laughs> Imari felt like, uh huh, papi. ¿Qué tú quieres? ¿Teta? No, no teta. Que okay, Sebastian is getting a little bit antsy. So we have to make this video shorter. Anyways, guys, so whatever happened, um, I felt like, I like she told me, look, one time she dumped me. She dumped me in December. Like, it was like right after my birthday. It was like 10 days after. It was December 28th. Yeah, I, was, I will always tell you guys. She dumped me, guys. She dumped me. Anyways. Everybody she broke she up with she me. Tells her, she tells them, you know, she dumped me. Yeah, she did. She broke up with me. And she told me, like, this wasn't what she was looking for. She was looking for something more like puppy love. And I couldn't offer that. I really couldn't. I was a little bit more mature. But I guess Imali talked things over. Uh huh. Imali talked things over. And then she, you know, on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, she decided to, like, call me to tell me Happy New Year's or whatever. Um, I was already like when she dumped me. I was like, you know what? She's young. Um, um, I need to focus on working, and I need to focus on myself right now. Maybe I'm not in the thing of I need a relationship because I wasn't ever thinking like I need to be with somebody. Anyways, guys. So yeah, that is how we met. That um, the age difference. Does the age difference affect us? People ask that a lot. No. I feel like it doesn't affect us. So as soon as rowdy. Yeah, the age difference does not affect us. Um, I feel like we're happy together. But one thing I want to tell you, Maria, and I'm you know, letting her know in front of you guys because this is on video. You are free. With me, you have always been free. If one day you wake up and you feel like, you know what, I don't want to be in this family, I don't want to be in this relationship, um, I will understand. I'll, sorry, Sebastian was touching something. I will always understand and I will always support you in your decisions. It will break my heart, but what can I do? Like, what can I say? You're free. Everybody, like, one thing we live by in this house is, like, is a lot of freedom. We try to have as much freedom as of expression, freedom of religion, freedom of um, what to wear, freedom of how to do our hair, freedom of everything. We don't want to be like this relationship to be like, oh, you know, you have me like this. No, we want it to be free. Anything you want to uh, Guys. Thanks so much for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe, to like this. Let's get this video to 500 likes. So that we're not asking a lot. 500 likes. We have 5,000 of you. Let's get this video to 500 likes. And if you guys want us to do another video, we'll get to it right now. So let's get this video to 500 likes. And tell us in the comment what you guys think. And what you guys want us to make a video about. And what you guys think about, of course. Sebastian! So bye, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.